Welcome to the Weekend Sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and let's start things off this week with a rumor. Earlier this week, it was suggested through several articles that Andrew Wiggins will be looking to get in the $180 million range for his sneaker deal after he does a year at Kansas and enters the NBA. Now, for most in the industry, this number seems severely inflated, and Nick DiPaolo did a little investigating and found out that the supposed letter from Adidas with that amount was a fraud. Now, don't get me wrong. Wiggins is going to get a ton of money if he does well this year at Kansas, but just don't expect it to be in the $180 million range. Big shout out to Nick DiPaolo for doing a little investigating and finding out the truth behind this rumor. John Wall may be an Adidas guy now, but that does not mean that Reebok is out of the basketball game. Revealed today, we get a closer look at the Q96 and the Pumpspective Omni. As you can tell, both are deeply rooted in Reebok basketball history with the Q96 being a version of the Question and the Pumpspective Omni being a version of the Reebok Pump worn by G. Brown. Now, both are set to release to the public on November 1st with the Pumpspective Omni hitting for $125 and the Q96 hitting for $115. I'm actually really looking forward to trying out the Q96 because I want to see what Reebok has done with the DMX cushioning. Transitioning over to Nike, the Flyknit was getting a ton of love this week. First up was this Lunar Chucka Flyknit in parachute gold and total orange. Those colors look absolutely great. You can actually grab a pair of these over at Sneaker Politics starting on October 26th. There was also the Flyknit Lunar 1 in total orange. These are actually available overseas at Tidalo if you're interested in grabbing those. And they also have this raspberry and laser orange colorway of the Free Flyknit. Now this is a woman's shoe, but I definitely I feel this colorway. I think I might be able to pull it off. And finally, we have a preview of version 2 of the Flyknit Lunar, which popped up. Now, it looks like it has a few technical updates on the side panel, as well as some cosmetic changes. Looks like it's a good time for the Flyknit family. While we're talking about runners, most of you guys should know that the Flyknit is actually a runner. Both Adidas and Nike gave some helpful additions for runners this week. On the Adidas side, the brand announced the MyCoach Smart Run Watch. The watch will help you track your runs and will also help coach you along the way. Additionally, you will also be able to load music on it and it has over 400 animations to make up hundreds of workouts and plans. Now, this is set to drop in November and the price for that one is going to be $399. For Nike, they introduced an update to the Fuel Band called the Fuel Band SE. The new version has an updated Bluetooth technology which should help extend the battery life and it's also able to deliver more information. It is also more water resistant than it was before and includes programs such as sessions, wind the hour, groups, and fuel rate for gauging your progress. The Fuel Band SE is scheduled to hit Nike.com on November 6th for $149 in black, pink foil, total crimson, and volt. And to round things up, we have the Nike LeBron 11 in the Miami Heat Away colorway. As you guys already know, I am impressed with the LeBron 11 and the colorways just seem to be getting better. This model is expected to be the road shoe for LeBron and I like the detailing on the hyperposite material with the embedded speckles. Nice detailing with the metallic swoosh as well. Shout out to Nike Basketball. The Nike LeBron 11 Miami Heat Away is scheduled to hit Nike.com for $200 on November 1st. Last week for the question of the video, I wanted to know which of the four from last week, the D-Rose 4, the 28SE, the CP37, or the LeBron 11, which one was best for on-court, which one was best for streetwear? Well, here are your responses. Darnell Coney says the CP37 off-court and the LeBron 11 on-court. Andrew Contreras says the 28 for performance and the LeBron for casual, whereas Sam Larson, he says the D-Rose 4 off-court and the 28 on-court. Now over at Soul Collector, Soul Grin just says the bronze, which I imagine means both on and off court. And Ku23 said he's rocking with the LeBron for style and the 28SE for on the court. For this week's question of the video, I want to know your top five Air Jordan models. And I'm just talking about the signature models. Earlier this week, uh, Complex put together an article and they ranked one through 28. They ranked them. And uh, well, I didn't, I didn't agree with all of them, but I think they had it mostly right for me. My top five would be the 11, the 3, the 28, the 4, and then the 23. I want to know what are your favorites. Let me know, let me know down in the comments. And of course, I'll back a few of your responses next week it's a heat check mother lover all right for my heat check this week i'm actually rocking the nike lunar glide 5 this is my first pair of these finish line was nice enough to send me a pair over i had never owned a pair before and this is the shield which is the water resistant version you know the time for the, the more weather resistant pair definitely comfortable i had no idea because again because i had never worn a pair before i like the colorway i like the uh the the uh the 3m underneath so you can see that when you're running and running at night so shout out to finish line for sending these over only thing that i would say about these they are comfortable 
comfortable, but I would say size up a little bit. I usually like to wear thick socks and these felt a little tight with thick socks. So I put on some thin socks and they work. So again, I would size up or maybe try them out at the store to see if they work for you. But that would be my only complaint that they run a little tight and maybe get a half size bigger. These are an 11. And when I go get another pair, I'm definitely gonna get an 11 and a half just cause these felt a little tight. So that is my heat check for the day. Bang, bang. Well, that is going to do it for the show today. If you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening here on this channel. And also, make sure you visit the links in the description. It'll give you the full stories of everything that I talked about today, plus some other stuff. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is The Week in Sneaks, and I will see you soon. Peace.